Hello, how are you? Happy Easter. I hope everybody is enjoying a lovely, peaceful and happy Sunday together and I hope the sun is shining where you are. We are showing you a film that we made last September and we went up into the mountains to round up some sheep with my sister-in-law and my brother. She's up there now actually because it's um, lambing season. So I thought this would be a nice time to show the film so that she can get to see it while she's up there in the mountains all by herself. This was a lovely change for us. Even though we're busy rounding up the sheep, we're actually just strolling around and enjoying the magnificent views and the lovely fresh air and watching the two dogs because the young one of the dogs is just a pup and he's here to learn from the other one. Now my sister-in-law was born up here and this is her land and this is where she rears her sheep. So she has a little flock and um, she's up here several times a year Hello, looking Hello. after them and checking on them and shearing Hello. them. And like I say, at the moment, she's up in the mountains because it's lambing season. And so she's really busy. And so far, I was there visiting her the other day. So far, she's only had little black lambs. They're all black and they're just absolutely adorable. My God, I wish you could see them. Even though the terrain is rocky and steep, it's still a lovely relaxing day because we're not actually really having to think about anything. We're just watching the antics of the dogs, chatting away and strolling and it's very, very peaceful. And I'm always looking around for the different plants when I go somewhere unusual or somewhere that I'm not usually at. And up here, although it's barren and bleak, there are a number of plants, um, quite a variety actually. There's lots of heathers and different types of moss and lichens. And there's even the occasional stunted little tree. It's quite different to what we have down below at the coast um, in terms of plants and things, but also there's just a wonderful sense of space and timelessness because when you're looking around, there probably hasn't been very much change here for centuries. We feel much closer to the sky as well. And we can really, really see, I mean, we can see these mountains from our kitchen window and you've probably seen them in other films from the back garden, but to be up in the mountains is something else. You can really appreciate the soft contours of Mother Earth, the rolling, the rolling hills that are the foothills of the mountains and just the height. Oh, it's a lovely place to be. And when we were up here in September, um, we did find some bog myrtle. And bog myrtle grows on the bogs and in boggy places. And it is also very, it's very aromatic. So if you come across it when you're out hiking, you can give it a little rub with your fingers and, um, and then rub your skin and it repels biting insects. And this is a place where you will get a lot of midges in summertime. We were lucky this day that we were up in the mountain because we were still in September and yet it was um, just breezy enough to keep the midges off. But this is the plant that's really helpful. Lots of sedums as well, all with different colours. It's just, I mean, I grow these in my garden, but it's really wonderful to see them out in the wild doing their own thing 
and creating amazing sculptures on the land. I have mentioned before in other videos about the way that in the ancient past Connemara would have been forested and up here on the bog there are remains of a pine forest. Lots of great big ossified stumps and they're so beautiful, the shapes and just the way they've landed on the land. Look at this one, it looks like something out of Narnia or some other magical realm. I always love to try and learn something new. So up here in the mountains, I'm pretending that I'm a shepherdess as well. And I have been quite successful in rounding up about five sheep all by myself. So um, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Obviously, I'm not the expert that Anne is. And they all know her because they know her call and they're used to getting fed at different times of the year and when she's there, to, like she is now for lambing as well. Being up in the mountains, it's a way of realising how unimportant all our day-to-day -day worries are. They're just not important. The vastness of the mountains and the sky makes me realise we're just little beings here for a very short time so we may as well just enjoy life and get on with it and appreciate all the beauty such as this beautiful stream I hope you've enjoyed the peace and tranquility of the mountains as well and that it's given you a chance to just sit back and relax and take some time out and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and have a look at the website danusirishherbgarden.com for more information about us and about the herbal medicine courses I offer and the Wise Woman Way training. And if you go to the shop you can find the books, the weed handbooks and other herbal goodies. And remember we put a new film out every Sunday. So looking forward to seeing you next week. <laughs>